Welcome to the tutorial SmartWire DT Overview and how to use in EasySoft 7. What is SmartWire DT? SmartWire DT is a communication system for industrial switch gears inside the cabinet and outside in the field. With this intelligent wiring system, information is available on the status of all devices such as measured current values, motor frequencies and switching statuses. This simplifies diagnostics and troubleshooting. Connection to industrial field bus systems such as CanOpen and Profinet is via gateways. Eaton HMIs also have an integrated SmartWire DT interface. Via the EasyCom SWDC1 module a compact overall solution can be implemented inside and outside the controlled cabinet with the Easy E4. The SWD modules can include protective devices, contactors and motor starters, indicator lights and switches, and signal towers. The SWD assist planning software is used to configure the communication system. This tool has been integrated into EasySoft. Power feed modules can be used to provide an additional 15 volt DC power supply for the devices and 24 volt DC control voltage supply for contactors, for example, if required. The need for a power feed module is automatically indicated in the SmartWire DT Assist software or in EasySoft. The SmartWire DT modules are connected to each other via a green flat cable inside the control cabinet or outside it via a green round cable. An SWD line can extend up to 600 meters. Up to 1000 bytes of user data are available in one telegram. Parameters for DS7 soft starters and DE1, DC1 and DA1 frequency inverters can be easily adjusted. Even input and output modules in IP67 can be integrated into the system. If you compare the setup with conventional wiring in a control cabinet with the setup using SmartWire TT wiring, there is a time saving of about 30% over the entire life cycle. Let's now move on to the EasyCom SWD C1 module. With the 35mm wide SWD communication module, I.O. expansion can be replaced and up to 99 participants can be networked via one Easy E4. Let's take a look at an example project. The 24 volt power supply is provided in the controlled cabinet via a Dean Rail power supply unit. The Easy SmartWire DT bundle with the Easy E4 basic unit in UC version and the SmartWire DT communication module is inserted. For additional relay outputs, the UC expansion with 8 relay outputs is placed on the right hand side of the Easy E4. The necessary coded connection plugs are inserted on the left and right side of the Easy E4. Three EMS2 electronic motor starters and three DE1 variable speed starters are used. Three multicolor light indicators, a key switch and an on button are installed in the control cabinet door. A remote touch display is used for visualization. For further information on the remote touch display, please refer to the video tutorial How to connect a remote touch display Easy RTD to an Easy E4. What does this project look like in EasySoft? Open EasySoft and drag a device onto the work pane. Select version 1.3 or higher as the firmware. Place the digital expansion on the right side. Then select the EasyCom SWD C1 from the communication modules and drag it to the left side of the Easy E4. For information on how to import an existing SWD line, Please refer to the video tutorial How are SmartWire DT stations handled in an Easy E4 in conjunction with the EasyCom SWD C1 module. The Easy and SWD tabs will now be displayed at the top left. In the SWD tab, select in the electronic motor starter group via subgroup EMS2, 
select the first EMS DOT9 SWD and drag it to the bottom of the SWD module. Add the second and third EMS2 to the right side of the already placed EMS2. For the three DE1 variable speed starter, select the DX Net SWD3 from the Drives and Soft Starter group, the Variable Frequency Drives subgroup. The three multicolor light indicators are selected from the main group, Control Circuit Devices, M22 SWD Front Mount and finally LED elements. For the key switch, the M22 SWD K22 is used from the subgroup 3 positions. The last participant in this project is an M22 SWD K11 LED minus G from the subgroup 2 positions LED. To automatically assign the operands of all SWD modules, select the SWD module and activate the automatic assignment button via the assigned operands tab. The current load of the SWD line will be displayed as a bar graph in the SWD module itself and in the expansion information tab. In our example, the 15 volt DC is loaded with 58% and the 24 volt DC with 10%. An overload of the respective voltage would be displayed with a full red bar graph. Information about each individual participant, such as the name of the participant, the comment about the participant, or the current load at the SWD line position can be called up by left clicking on it. The individual operands of the SWD modules can be viewed in detail using the tabs below. Technically simple devices such as the M22 SWD K22 provide bit inputs and diagnostics alarm. More complex devices such as the DE1 variable speed starter can provide and process much more information via the bit inputs and outputs, analog inputs and outputs and the diagnostics alarm. Thank you for your attention.